Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 25 of our Darkness Falls playthrough here in Alpha 21. I had a couple idiots stumbling around in the dark last night. Yeah, you're one of those idiots I was talking about. Stop hitting my base, dude. Stop hitting my base. We're, st we're just gonna start the day off with a bunch of nut shots. What's up, Lois? Stay down. There you go. All right, any of your buddies around here? Also, um, I've had a tremendous number of people tell me that walking over the old dead squishy bodies here, the little corpses laying there, slows you down. Yeah, I know. That's kind of been a thing in the game for a little while. That's I'm not new to that. I just don't feel like cleaning them up. It's one of those, like, this is not my mess to clean up. I'm not doing it. So, farm's doing well over here, although one of the idiot zombies came over and busted out whatever I had growing there. I don't even know what it was. But I did make me a scarecrow. That is something that I probably forgot was even a thing. Um, okay, that's what the scarecrow looks like, huh? Okay, sure, sure, sure. We'll, we'll go with that. I'm gonna put you right uh, chaw. And let's see, I did bring some corn. I can slap one in right there. That should do it. Okay, so carrots are grown. Tomatoes are growing. Taters are still growing. Okay, so we'll bust out the hoe here in a little bit and get these. That ought to work. Let's see, you got anything in you? You do. I'm going to take all of that. I'll put the one... I'll put some more chrysanthemum in there. Dang, that's fast. Look at that. Now, you're just giving me animal fat. I'm going to guess that I have to put, like, animal feed in there to order to be able to get any good things like meats from you. But, you know, what? if I'm low on animal fat, then, you know, at least that's the thing. Put you in there. Let me drop this off real quick. Okay, I uh, need to top off my water real quick, and then we're heading back. Oh, yeah, I put my two plants down. I switched over to these pretty little blue. I don't even know what they are. They're they're plants. I don't know what they are. Sup, dudes? I switched over to those and made my house a little bit more pretty here. We're going to get this here. We're going to go finish up this triangle house we started on yesterday. I've got all my ammo, repaired a couple things, got my health back up. Food's good to go. I think we're good to go to finish it. There shouldn't be a whole lot left in there. We got to go through the basement, which honestly, I don't remember if the basement of that house has a lot in there. It's got a vault door you got to beat in, but I can't remember because it's been a little while. But I can't remember if there's more than a couple enemies down there. Now, on the very, very tippity top floor, there is definitely a lot more up there. And one of those rooms, if I recall had like four or five zombies in there and I'm, I'm gonna guess it's probably gonna be a, a little bit of a challenge when we get in there the other thing i need to work on i mean we're on day 25 so i still have time before the horde shows up fortunately because i'm stalling um is I need to go over and do some more work for our new scout over there in order to be able to unlock or open up the route to any of these other places like the other bunkers and stuff to progress with the darkness falls story i've got to do some work for him i've only done three jobs I think it was for him so we've done wait is what is this is this another hang on is this another traitor have I hang on I drove off in a ditch here hang on is this let me see what it says up there the trader Joe okay so this one's got a question mark behind this so I'm gonna guess this one is been overrun that sounds loud like it yeah yeah, this one's been overrun. Y'all can keep this one. That sounds like a non-friendly place to go. Okay. Well, we'll have to remember that's there in case we ever want to go kill a whole bunch of zombies in a very small, compacted little area. And I... Oh, there it is. Nice. Accidentally went the right way and coming up right on the front of it. Now, hopefully, in just the course of one night, not everything respawned back over here. Shouldn't have, but, you know, sometimes the game's like, Hey, guess what? Yeah, you're going to have to do it all over again. All right, so let's see. This leads to the stairwell. I'm going to double check to make sure we didn't miss anything over here since we kept getting distracted. I'm pretty sure I got everything that was in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and rip you apart real quick. I was looking into making myself a new vehicle. Now, most of the things that I can make... No, I don't want to do you right now. Most of the things I can make, I can't fully make. And But what I mean by that is like... If I'm going to try to make, well, here, I'll just show you here. If I was going to try to make the buggy, I can make the buggy. I just can't make the stuff to go with it. That is the same thing for most of the, most of the, uh, most of the vehicles. Let's try that with actual words. So like the buggy, the charger, if I was going to try and make that, you know, there's like 
18 different ways I can make it, but making the accessories and the chassis, I can't. But the motorcycle, I can make all of those. Motorcycle holds a bigger gas tank. It's got a bigger inventory. It goes a little bit faster. So it might behoove me to make one of those. Make sure I got you. I did. So that it might behoove me to go through and make one of those. I'm considering it. I've got... Hang on. Okay, there's Bo. And there's Brucey Boy. Okay, y'all keep doing your thing. Sorry, I'm just making sure that the idiots aren't going to come towards me. Make sure I got everything in this room. Pretty sure I was ready to go upstairs. So anyway, I've got materials to be able to make the sort of things, and it might behoove me, especially if I'm going to have to go back and forth to the upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. <laughs> yeah, stupid. The trader that's up the road from me, basically. Uh, I'm gonna, it may be a good idea to go ahead and put that into play. Let's see if these idiots are going to come over here. There's a lot of dead bodies around here. I could be chopping up, but we're not going to. Level up, baby. We got a skill point. Reload speed, 10%. What am I currently rocking? I don't even remember. Reload speed, 10%. Okay, well, we didn't we didn't get anything useful from that, but we can sell those. And I don't think I finished searching this because Eddie busted out, started punching me in the corner. Very rude of him. I'm going to guess that there's just a floater. Yep. That's a big bathtub, but you know what? I would stand up at that and hit my head on the side of the wall, knock myself out, and drown in the water. That's just how my luck is. So we did not go in this room. I'm gonna guess if I were making, if I were making a guess, that there's a few people in here that somehow didn't wake up. Yep, we have a radiated Bruce, or not Bruce, radiated uh, Gary over here in the corner. Let's see if we can't take him out real quick. He's a feral, so he's not gonna go down. Shh. Be real quiet now. Hey, I said be real quiet. You're not being quiet. Dude. Shh. I hear a big freaking wasp outside. Can I have my bolts back since you so rudely woke up everybody who was in here? Or at least you're trying to. Alright, I'm going to guess that he's probably feral too. Yep. Whoops, that one's a little high. Whoops. <laughs> we broke the window. Whoops. I guess one of us woke up, Gary. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm going to go ahead and just keep you on the ground, sir. There we go. Okay, that should be all the idiots in here. Should be. There we go. Oh, um, and uh, I don't even know which, which video it is. It doesn't necessarily matter. I read every comment on every video. It doesn't matter how old the video is, but sometimes I, you know, I'm a little far ahead when it comes to recording, so oftentimes I don't necessarily get a chance to respond to comments right when you guys leave them, um, as far as, like, in the video. Uh, anyway, what I was going to say is somebody had mentioned that I don't really spend a lot of time doing stealthy stuff in this game anymore. I don't seem to even be trying. Well... Here's the problem with that, is that I usually do try to at least start off a little stealthy. But the way the game has changed over the years is that it's it's much more challenging to be stealthy in this game now. What I mean by that is that so many POIs have trigger spots. So that as soon as you walk up or certain you walk past a certain threshold, you automatically wake everybody up. It has nothing to do with how stealthy you are. So, hey! It's just, whoops, pulled that shot. Uh, you know what I mean. If you've been playing this game for any amount of time whatsoever, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just, you try to be stealthy. You sneak about, you're doing, you know, you're using silenced weapons, that sort of stuff. Lockpicking perk? Sure, why not? Um, and then all of a sudden, all you do is you walk through one door and it wakes everybody up in the entire neighborhood. That's, that's where the challenge lies. No running, Lisa. No running in the house. Your mama ever tell you that? So anyway, I try to be stealthy. If I'm going to be making an effort to get into a place, stealth is definitely the preferred way to go about doing that. But when you get basically, you know, told on the moment you walk through the threshold of the front door and it wakes everybody up in the house, it's hard to be stealthy. So if I'm given the opportunity, I will definitely try to be stealthy. But the game likes to be like, nah. We're not. We're gonna go ahead and wake everybody up. We, we don't need you being stealthy in here. A lot of freaking tank tops in here. A sterile bandage. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Why not? Picked up a couple chairs to scrap down. 
And I'm guess is that a it's not bad. Not terrible. I could probably sell that for a few bucks. Take you and oh, I almost forgot this one. Alright, let's see if we can get this one on the first try. Yeah, yeah, first try. Money, bullets, and the helmet light mod. Well, that's nice of you. I gave myself one very early on in this game so that you guys could see what was going on. There's a boob on the wall. All right, so down into the vault now. We have to pick that door, but that one won't be very hard, hopefully. You know, I have to say, that is probably one of the things I like most about the Darkness Falls is that the way to get in and out of doors, you know, if it's locked, you just straight up lock pick it. You don't have to worry about trying to break it down if it's reinforced and all that so it doesn't matter how difficult the door is as long as you have some lock picks you have a decent chance of getting in look at that reinforced freaking vault door here and i get in on the first try oh hey that's a that's a mean guy right there can i close you if i need to i sure can that's a tough guy haha -ha. oh god <laughs> My bad, okay. I shouldn't have laughed. My bad, my bad. My bad, I didn't mean to laugh. Go away. I didn't mean to laugh. I'm sorry, dude. Stop hitting me. <laughs> dude, straight up teleported through the door. All you had on you was suit pants? Seriously. A purple tough dude, and all I got was suit pants from that. That's kind of messed up. That's pretty messed up. You can make me have to use a bandage here. I cannot believe that. Hang on, there's some other people over here. Let's go see what's going on. There's some other, I think the neighbors are coming. Hey, what's up, beggar? Can you believe the game calls you bloated? You're not bloated. You just eat really well. Is that all the shuffling? I know I heard a couple others, but I'm just trying to. Nope, I don't hear anything else right now. Okay, let's go back downstairs. I'm guaranteed that he's not the only one that's down here. Uh, let's switch over to a little rapid fire just in case. Check your corners. Anybody else sleeping on the other side of the table? All right, downstairs is clear. Upstairs, there's two bathrooms. They'll have to bust in there if they want it. All right, so we have a destroyed forge with some brass and a destroyed workbench with some plastic. That's that's it, huh? Couple calipers, a scrap wrench or a scrap axe and duct tape. I have to say that. I don't necessarily think coming down to the basement was absolutely worth it. we It's not like we're walking out of here with a bunch of stuff. We got some decent loot yesterday while we are in here, but the return to finish this place today does not seem to be making it worth it at all. There better be something upstairs in one of these bathrooms. And I don't mean a zombie. Okay, you're unlocked. Sink is busted. I'll check the toilet. No, there's nothing up here. What about you? Okay, we got one little box and some lockers. I'll check the lockers first. Another jacket. I mean, I guess I can technically sell those. And stuff. It's a little bit of first aid stuff. Yeah, there's a few supplies. I mean, I could wrench down these beds for resources here, which, you know, doesn't take a lot of time to do that. You get... Oh, well, that's just the bed part. The bed frame itself is where you get the parts for it. Might as well. And that's about it. There was nothing down here. Bunch of big screen TVs that I can't take with me. Is that it? Am I just, am I missing anything? You know, I feel like having an underground bunker with a reinforced steel vault door should yield more than it actually does. I mean, yeah, you can take these apart, of course, and you get a chance for some forged iron, some forged steel by ripping these apart. and You get resources, so it's worthy of spending a second to tear them apart. But uh, that's, that's not it. That's not very good. Well, let's get up out of here. So, since it's almost lunchtime... What we do, what we're going to do, is we're going to head back to the house, drop off the little bit of stuff that we have. Oh yeah, I forgot that. I thought that door was open. Drop off the little bit of stuff that we have. We're going to head north, stop by, get the airdrop, and then we're going to go see the other trader dude up there, the other scout guy, and see if he's got any jobs for us that we can do to progress. Hang on. To... Just checking the register, dude. You can have it if you want to. Uh, to see if he's got a job so we can progress the... Storyline basically of Darkness Falls a little bit more. Alright, good to go. 
close you real quick and our scarecrow is here that's totally like the jeepers creepers looking scarecrow guy that's cool you're not facing the right direction but it's okay you got your back to the plants um what in the sweet hell is going on with this i replaced this one this morning why does this one keep breaking here because when i was actually growing stuff there it actually grew so uh, did you break it I, I don't I don't know what's going on with this particular plant right here. Why that one's breaking. I got it stacked up two on both sides of the other directions. I don't know. Maybe the game is just like, nah, we're going to troll you here. Topped off the gas on this. It's nice and repaired. So we got a little bit of a drive to get into the mountains up here. And then we can see what's in this loot thing. Head over to the trader dude. And maybe what he's going to do is just give us a, hey, by the way, you just need to kill a bunch of zombies. We can stroll about the countryside and kill a bunch of zombies and call it good. And it's not a super difficult overrun POI. Hang on. I don't think I ever checked you. I'm not sure if I did or not. There's some more notes. All right. Well, let's get up to this mountain and see what kind of lovely stuff we can get in the loot box. All right. We got a bee chasing us here. Uh-oh. I should probably switch to a different weapon than this. Don't even feel bad, man. I was going to just leave you alone. I was straight up leaving you alone, and you decided to show up over here. Did you see that, Mr. Bunny Rabbit? That bee came straight for me. I'm pretty... Oh, hold on, chicken. I'm not trying to run over here. I'm trying not to skid out here. I'm pretty sure this airdrop is in the exact same spot it was last time. I kind of remember this dirt trail. Found a couple orange trees along the way. I chopped them down. Oh, hey, slow down. A couple orange trees. Chopped them down along the way. And I don't have any orange trees growing at the house. I have a couple of apple trees. I think they're growing. It's not showing that they're not growing. Let me put it that way. So I think that they're growing and we should be able to get some more apples here in the very near future. But we'll just have to see, of course. I need to get my... What I really need to do, and I, and I don't want to do this. I've had some people tell me I should, but I don't want to just because I feel like you guys are missing out. It's like, I need to have one video that's basically just a montage. It'd be just, you know, me beating down rocks and planting trees and fixing my farm and all that sort of stuff. Uh oh. Hey, no, come back here. Hold the brakes. There we go. Now stay. Um... Okay, so does he not recognize where I'm at? I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of you real quick before I start. <laughs> He's rolling down the hill. There's a military truck right on the other side of this when we have to go check out. There you go. Wait, are you dead, dead? Okay, I thought you were just playing coy again. All right, what kind of stuff we got in here? We got a pistol trip. Sure, we'll use you. Scavenging, sure, a wrench and a shovel. Hey, you know, that's not too bad. Compared to our scrap shovel, this one does 40. This one does 50. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, I know we have another shovel somewhere. I just don't know what I put with it. I do not know what I did with my other shovel. Or if this is my shovel. I don't even remember. I swear I had one somewhere. I just don't know what I did with it. Hey, I wasn't done with you. Don't collapse on me. All right, let's clear you out of the way so you're not there. I want to see what this spot is real quick. This looks like an absolutely normal, safe little spot. We're not going to deal with that right now. I have experience in the past. Where did I put my bike? In the past of... Did my bike seriously roll down the hill? It did. <laughs> It, um, of those tiny little airdrops, or these tiny little spots, was like, oh, that's not too much there. It's just one little military truck and a tent, and then, boom, hey, there's a bear all up on your stuff and things. And, yeah, they, they show up quick, and they show up fast, and then you find out you have no place for cover or anything. So, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to do that, especially on the mountaintop. Let's just get over to our trader buddy over here and see if he's got anything fun. And I'm, oh, never mind. I was about to ask a question, but I don't know the answer to. So, let's get over here. We made it. Open the door. Now, close the door. There we go. What are the odds? What are the odds that anything actually... Hold on. Those are all workable stuff. What are the odds any of these re... Or any of this stuff restock that I can re -loot it? Man, I wish this. I think I looked up what that is. It's like it's a heating element. An improved healing element. Yeah. I can't make one. This goes in the advanced forge. All this other stuff, I know what it is. That, I didn't know what it was. Is there anybody in here? Has it been long enough that I've been here that... I can research some of this stuff now. Kind of looks like it. Nice. I'll take your flour. Your corn. Hell yeah. 
food and squishy bits. And broken sandwich. I'll take your sandwich. Uh, I don't think there was a lot of loot. Okay, so that's gone. I definitely don't have anything to sell this idiot. Are you a customer? Um, not when you talk to me like that, I'm not. Let's see. I have some monies. Do you have any mods that would be useful? Not really. What else do you... Do you have any books that would be useful? Nope. You got a whole lot of nothing. I got better things to do than stare at the likes of you. Sure, I have a few errands you can run. Okay. Do you? Do you have any jobs? Never mind. Do, do, you don't have any... What? Why, why you why you don't have jobs for me, sir? I was just trying to do some work for you. Okay, so now I'm kind of confused. Um, do I have to do more jobs for the other trader and then she points me towards another person? Because you don't have any jobs. None at all. Huh? You have a few earnings. You've got nothing there. Okay. Uh, are you sure you don't have any jobs for me? Because it's been a few days since I've been up here and you don't seem to have anything here. So now I'm kind of curious as if he ever will again. Or if I'm going to have to go back to the other trader lady and uh, see if she's got any jobs for me. Drove all the way up here for nothing. Uh, I'll leave. Yeah, your door closed. I'll, I'll be nice and close it for you this time. Is this an apple tree? Yes, it is. I need to actually get those. I need some more apples. I haven't tried it. Some people had said that if you use a hoe on the trees that you can get supplies for them without breaking down the tree. I have not tried that. I cannot confirm that. I have no idea if that's actually a thing or not. So I guess... I, I don't know. And we're going to try it out. I don't necessarily know the answer to that question. So I guess we can head over to the other trader, the first scout. Maybe we can do some more work for her, and then maybe she'll send us to another trader. I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, uh hi. Editing cap here, just uh, interjecting a thought. We already unlocked the quest to send us over to Eve, which is where that waypoint that was way off to the east is. That's where the next Darkness Falls related trader is actually at. We unlocked that when we finished up the stuff for this dude back here whose name is Razor. So we already completed that mission. I just happened to forget about it. So, sorry about that. Back to Gaming Cap. Well, I guess we will find out. We'll go talk to her first and then we go talk to this dude. We can get a job from him. And, hey, I didn't go the wrong way. I mean, I guess it's the other side of the building. I could have gone either direction. Sup, girl? Still sitting in an awkward position? <laughs> okay. Can you teach me to be a better crafter? Ooh, heavy armor crafting? Light armor, bladed weapon, blunt weapon, auto gun crafting, bow crafting. Can I do heavy... Hang on. Before I even talk to you, you're not even talking to me. You're just showing me stuff here. Heavy. Uh, let me see. That would be like iron armor. Can I make iron... Iron armor, iron chest armor. Okay, what about steel? Can I make any of that? Steel, chest armor. I can't make any of that. How much money do I have? I have just enough to buy that. How about we just wait on that? Do you have any jobs? Starving tourists, silence at lady killer. We can always can you do that. I sure can, ma'am. And uh, let's see. Do you have anything I can buy that would be useful? Not really. Goodbye. Goodbye. We'll be back. What are just... you looking for? Um. Funny you should ask. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Not even a little bit. Nope. Okay, so you're the opposite direction from where I parked my bike. Because of course you are. Let's zoom on over here and see if we can't do a lady killer thing or two. And now, I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, okay, what's the worst case scenario? We do a couple jobs for her. We get experience. We get... Part, uh, we get supplies, we, you know, all the, you get all the benefits of doing stuff and things, and then she doesn't open up another trailer for us. Oh, nice, some Molotovs and pipe bombs, nice, I'm not sure who brought their trick-or-treating bag over here, but they got all the fun stuff. They must be trick-or-treating on a military street. Holy cow. It's like Halloween. There's, an, oh, there's two more right here. What is, what happened over here? And I haven't been here for a while. Holy cow. <laughs> this is grenades something bad happened here some sort of battle happened and it's you know working out nicely for me okay there was a couple more this direction there's at least two that i can see there hell i'm sure you guys will tell me if I, hell i didn't even search you um i'm sure you guys would tell me if i missed some too some ranch some water 
Might as well go ahead and grab you. Ooh, a 44? An advanced pistol? What does that do compared to this one? Okay, so our current one, range pistol is 39. I wonder what, does this advance, it uses 9 millimeter, more accurate standard pistol, has a larger magazine. That's not bad. Thank you, game. Okay, so we went over to the triangle house for mentioning how terrible the loot is over there. So the game's like, tell you what, we're going to kill a whole bunch of zombies in this area right here, Rambo style. And give you the spoils of their war. That's fantastic. Just dead bodies everywhere. Maybe we'll find some more as we drive over here. That's awesome. Thank you, game. I recognize this area. This is where we fought the group of Sylvias. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing. Bunch of Sylvias. Come here, you. Make sure none of you're running at me. Okay, you. Some of you are a little faster than others. Oh, dude, I don't even feel bad about that. I do feel bad about hitting Sylvia. She's my girl. She always has been. She always will be. Despite things that you guys may or may not think have happened. Stay down. Are we good? Cool, cool. Did y'all bring me anything fun? Coffee seeds or coffee beans and a beer and some nasty meats. Okay. I'll tell you what, I'm going to grab some of these plants while I'm sitting around here just in case I do actually need these. I haven't tried putting goldenrod inside the snare and the thing and the beehive and stuff. I know you, I've been told you can put them in there and clearly you can. I just haven't done it yet. So I don't necessarily see, I don't know if there's a benefit over chrysanthemum. I'm not necessarily sure. They have two different sets of recipe trees. So I don't, okay. That's a big... Nope, that's a Night Stalker, too. Oh, and a Radiated Dog. Screw that. That's not the kind of horde we want to come across. That is like Horde Night Horde. Radiated Dogs are super fast. They bite hard. They give you infections, and they explode. Night Stalkers are just hard to kill. Nope. We're going along the long way the wrong way here to get away from all that crap. Which direction are y'all heading? Okay, so right at the moment, you're just kind of hanging out. Ow, don't go that way, dude. There is a gang of meanies over there. Holy crap, dude. Game was like, hey, we just gave you some new guns and a bunch of ammo. Let's test that out. Yeah, nah, we're not doing that. I hope not anyway. That's a, that's a mean little grouping right there. The regular wandering hordes, they are a challenge. We ran into one yesterday at the Triangle House. It showed up and, you know, we took our, we took our licks but kept on ticking. But this one, those little night stalkers are fast. They hit hard. Radiated dogs explode. I don't know. There's just a lot of nope in there. So yeah, we're gonna live to play another day I'm not doing that. Screw all that noise. I just have to hope they don't show up over here because we're gonna be climbing up on top of the house and hanging out <laughs> Sleeping here tonight. I mean they can bust through these walls I got to keep an eye on which direction they're running Typically the way hordes work in this game is it spawns in zombies Within a certain radius of your player and sends them the direction that you were last seen. Great job. Thanks. What you got for me? A Winchester rifle? Wait, do I have a Winchester rifle? I have a lever action. Winchester uses 44, doesn't it? It does. <gasps> Ooh. Let's take that. Um, let's see. Do I have did I get anything I could sell you? I don't need this extra wrench. Do you want it? I give it's worth a couple dollars. Oh yeah, you don't buy things. Good day. Good day to you too, ma'am. What else do you got? Lady Killer, Lady Killer, Silence of the Lambs. Can I trust you? Some screamer zombies. Uh, no. How about no? How about we don't do that? Starving tourists. Those are the big fat guys. We can, can do I a lady you? killer. I don't know. Maybe. I'm trustworthy. Which direction are you? Northwest. So you're not towards the house. You're the opposite direction of the house. Can you're... I help you? Uh, stop talking to me, lady. I mean, we're friends, but we're not that close. Okay, so you are the direction that the horde just showed up. So that's not something we're doing today. Nope. We can get you marked and we can come over here and... Okay, I heard the flag waving and I thought we were about to get jumped. Um, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So I don't necessarily know. I guess if you know the answer fully, actually know the answer, not just speculatory, in the comments, let me know. Do I have to do more jobs for this lady here and she'll send me to another Darkness Falls related scout? Because that idiot over there that we talked to is clearly not doing anything. Not anything useful anyway. So I don't necessarily know. 
This will be a little bit of a shorter one here. I need to work on getting some more rocks and some more farming stuff done. I really need to waste like an entire day just doing resource grabbing here, but I don't want to, as I was saying earlier, that's one of those like, if I just completely skip a day, and uh, you know, like, oh, hey, what happened to day 26? Like, well, I did nothing besides chip away rocks and grind away at my cement mixture and that sort of thing. And yeah, I know some people do, it's like, oh, we could do it like a montage. It's like, well, I don't want half the video to be just me beating on rocks and digging up clay and that sort of thing set to music. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just saying I need to. That would be beneficial if I actually spent some time doing that. I'm going to try and see what happens if I put chrysan or goldenrod in these places instead of chrysanthemum. See if anything else different happens. I don't know if it will or not. Empty snare. So let's put one of you in there. Now, I still don't know what these are. So I think it's still giving me just animal fat. I guess I'm going to have to put... Act can I put like an apple in there? Technically, you can. Hey, do you want a sandwich? Okay, what... It's like an instant source of leather. Look at this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he can give you a moldy sandwich and I get leather out of it. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. If I put... Let me check these up here. Because I know I can put chrysanthemum in these too. So if I put some goldenrod in there, will that going to give me eggs? That's fast. That is so fast. Put you in there. See, like one tomato and put you in there. Do I get anything different if I put tomatoes in there? The turnaround time for putting stuff in here is just crazy. Look, I put it in there. Look, seven eggs or eight eggs. Boomskies. You, let's see how, let's see, put some in there and boom, honey. Holy cow. You guys are fantastic. I have the most, well, there's Gary. We're going to have to be a little bit quiet. He's going to show up over here and start making a bunch of noise. Like a moron. Turn off my headlamp and start being all shh. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me today. I need to go through and kind of sort through all the stuff that I just got and see if there's anything useful here that's more useful than what I currently have is what I mean. Anyway, kind of a low-key day, but we got some good stuff. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I will talk to you later.